Judge Benitez in California has taken immediate action on the remanded assault weapon ban case in California, Miller v. Bonta, but there's been a wrinkle. First, we'll tell you the good news about it. Then I'll talk about the wrinkle. And if you want to stay in the know, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button down below. Welcome to Guns and Gadgets. This is where you get Second Amendment news on a daily basis, oftentimes multiple times a day. And today will be one of those days where I put out multiple videos because a lot of stuff has happened in the last 24 hours and I want to get you caught up. So let's talk about the Miller v. Bonta case. Just a quick refresh. It was a waiting to be heard or decided upon for certiorari by the United States Supreme Court. Once they ruled on Bruin, they granted a certiorari, meaning they're going to take the case up. They vacated the, uh, the decision and they remanded it back to the Ninth Circuit. The Ninth Circuit punted it all the way back to the district court level to start the case over instead of taking immediate action to follow the Constitution. And it brought it back to Judge Roger T. Benitez, who has already said that this uh, California's assault weapon ban law is unconstitutional. He acted immediately, Judge Benitez, once it was kicked back to him. And today is, uh, what's today, Friday, the 26th. He has scheduled a hearing for this coming Monday. Now, this hearing could be procedural, like this is how the case is going to go, or he could go all the way to taking some type of action, an injunction or something similar to what he did uh, in other cases that are pro 2 way that Judge Benitez has presided over. Now that's the good news. The case is moving rapidly and it's before the judge who's already said that this law is unconstitutional. So you know he's going to rule the same and he'll probably rule faster than he did last time. Now here's the wrinkle. This letter you see on the screen was filed yesterday in the case. And this is one of the attorneys uh, for Mr. Miller, and he brings a concern to Judge Benitez. Now I'll have this letter linked down below if you would like to read it in detail, but the specific concern he's bringing is the new California law that Gavin Newsom signed, which was Senate Bill 1327. And in that law, here on the bottom of page one, it says, A, notwithstanding any other law or any person, including an entity, attorney, or law firm who seeks declaratory or injunctive relief to prevent this state, a political subdivision, a governmental entity, or public official in this state, or a person in this state, from enforcing any statute, ordinance, rule, regulation, or any other type of law that regulates or restricts firearms, or that represents any litigant seeking that relief is jointly and severally liable to pay the attorney's fees and costs of the prevailing party. For purposes of the section, a party is considered a prevailing party if the court does either of the following. Dismisses any claim or cause of action brought by the people seeking the declaratory or injunctive relief described by subdivision A, regardless of the reason for the dismissal, or two, enters a judgment in favor of the party opposing the declaratory or injunctive relief described by subdivision A on any claim or cause of action. So what does that mean? That means if this case is dismissed, then now with this new law, the attorneys for uh, Miller would have to pay all of the attorney's fees to the state of California that have, they have uh or, you know, riled up and tallied up during this very long case. Now, this law was done specifically to mimic the Texas abortion law that went into effect last year, Governor Greg Abbott signed. And I, I covered, uh, I don't know, it was like six, eight, six months ago when uh, Gov Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, said that they were going to take that law and apply that to firearms. And it's just an end around. All it does is it's looking to, just like this attorney says, hey, look, we, we want to try this case. We want to push this case going forward. But we could be liable for all of these fees because of a new law in, in California. And that's just not cool. So what this law is looking to do is to stop people from challenging California's unconstitutional laws in fear that they'll have to pay not only you know, their costs and time to their client, but then be liable for all of the fees to the state of California as well. It's a, it's, it's an attempt to stop people from going to the courts to 
uh, ensure their constitutional rights. It, plain and simple. It's basically a totalitarian regime telling you you can't go look to the courts, which is one of the branches of government, checks and balances. You can't go to them to, to tell us we were wrong, the executive branch. You can't do that. Oh, we're going to fine you. you got to pay for all this stuff. And that, many, many, many people would say, is also unconstitutional. So like I said, this concern was put, it was filed yesterday. Uh, the next hearing is Monday. This is going to move rapidly, I believe, because it's Judge Benitez, and he's already ruled on this case. Uh, and I think he wants to make a point, because the case shouldn't be where it is right now. It should already have been decided. The Ninth uh, Circuit should have just done what they needed to do following the, the uh, GVR by the United States Supreme Court. But I think this is going to move quick, and if you want to stay in the know, subscribe to the channel down below. Uh, this is going to bear watching. We have a new law intended to stop these lawsuits, and we'll see what Judge Benitez says come Monday. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Please like the video and share the video if you like it, if you think other people should know about it, because it's the only way it gets through the anti-gun algorithm here on the YouTube. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Doesn't matter what Gavin Newsom or his band of merry trolls think. That's what it's for, California. Stick to your guns.